day 14th, Sunday, 23, or I think, July. So, left side pretty much finished. This was the last part that Faris put it here just in the in the intersection. It was uh, pretty rust, so we changed this piece. And here as well, you just need to finish to weld all these parts and as I told you a couple days ago in the other video between the original parts and the new parts uh, one thing it's really about the cost because for example I got the two doors you can see one is here and well the other one is just down there um, if you're lucky to find this one well new we if you find we speak about maybe a 500 euro each one so it's already a thousand euro just to change the door and even in second hand they will be pretty expensive and of course we're going to change it ready to be used the the back door as well so from tomorrow faris will start this side of the van where as you can see I got some problem here. Hello. So all these parts need to be replaced. And also this will be the difficult part to replace here where is the side door. So as you can see in the back, uh, I just put the gray water tank because last night I got the final idea about how I want to change uh the use for the gray water so usually we just dump water that's it so it's not a problem for us just to have a straight pipe that goes directly under the van and if we are in some nice places or even a camping it's not a problem to put um, a bucket just and and then dump the water uh, so it's not something that uh, affect us actually so I don't want to waste and uh, I think I suppose it's 27 liter but tomorrow I will do some experiment actually um, so the idea is to still have the water tank here just behind the kitchen to close these and these and to leave this one open so I can fill water and then to have a pipe that goes behind the cabinet and comes up pretty much here. Of course, I will need to put a, a water pump, but it's about 10 euro actually, a 12 volts water pump. So the pipe arrives here and we can have a shower here. And what I want to do actually on the back door is to have a wire eventually that goes on the free side, like in this way. So actually, I can put a curtains, like the normal curtains for a shower that you use at home. So now what I'm, what I will, today I will buy um, uh, a big uh, thermometer that goes to 100 degrees because what tomorrow I want to do some test for example what will be the best option in order eventually to have hot water so option number one will be to have let's say 20 liter cold water inside or normal temperature that's usually it's between 15 and 20 degree what will happen if I boil some water, let's say four liters, that's our pan, and I fill four liters of boiled water that should be a 90 degree inside that. So how much will be the temperature actually inside that? First option number one. The second option, I read an article, uh, and was a guy looking for uh, build a small shower for the sailboat that are pretty much kind of the, the same space and actually did some tests 
and uh, that could be possible with uh, what I call in Italian uh, resistenza. So it's the same thing you have in the fridge or in the um, uh, laundromat, uh, the, the, the laundry machine. Um, so something that could run at 12 volts. Uh, I just need to check uh, exactly how long it actually will take eventually to have some water, let's say, over 40 degrees in order to take a slightly warm shower. So that's what I will experiment tomorrow. So um, I think that's it for today from here. So today, as you can see, 40 is ready on his duty. And um, yeah. And now just take a look at what happened yesterday. But so the funny thing about today is that we have fleas in the apartment. Uh, especially now she has so many bites on the legs and on the arms. The funny thing is that We lived six years in a van and we never had that problem and we just moved to a, an apartment and here we comes. So the program of the day probably will be to uh, first to check the dog, Ziggy, if he's the one that brings them or they were already in the house and then to take out everything to clean everything and probably to get some medicine so we'll see the funny things about living in an apartment is that we have bed bugs so or ticks uh, I'm gonna show you how the bites that male have on the legs so six here in the van we slept in the most wilderness place in Europe and never had a problem and actually it's not Ziggy I mean these were already in the house in the mattress I believe actually from what I understood it it's more in the metal so seriously yeah so what we're gonna do now we're gonna do the homemade recipe so we take out the beddings and the mattress, but most of all the two metal beds. Mm -hmm. And I got here some diesel. <coughs> so with a brush, we're gonna put some diesel on the metal beds and then act after six o'clock when the shop will open we will go to buy a special products that it smell a lot that actually needs to be spray in the room and uh, we're gonna have to stay for a couple hours outside and hopefully the room will be clean by fleas but bed bugs bed, not fleas bed bugs fleas whatever uh, by the way, Armando, being the drama queen that he is, he just popped this information on me after I walked for a bit in the Greek heat from the shop carrying lots of crap. So, yeah, I... I did it yesterday, so... Next time I'm going in the late afternoon. Okay. <laughs> 